19-year-old Alexander Zenchenko arrived at Manchester City in July 2016 from Russian side FC Ufa. The former Shakhtar Donetsk player became City's fourth signing that summer following the arrivals of Ilkay Gundogan, Aaron Moy and Spain forward Nolito. Held in high regard in Ukraine, Zinchenko developed at Shakhtar's academy before moving to Russia without playing a first-team game. He made 21 appearances for Ufa where he became a popular player with management, players and fans for the manner in which he worked and waited for his opportunity. The attacking midfielder had played all three of Ukraine's matches at Euro 16 that summer and said he was delighted when the Blues showed interest. Yeah, when they told me for the first time that Manchester City wants to sign you, I didn't believe them because it's, it's, you know, it's, it was something impossible for me because it's, the, the step was massive. You know, the, the huge club like Manchester City and the club where I came from. Uh, but, you know, even after when I signed the contract, I still couldn't believe that. But when I, when I just came here to the training ground, when I saw the manager and he shake my hand, I was like, wow, it's, re it's reality. Yeah, it's a dream, you know, to, to, to be close to these kind of players. You know, you always want to learn and try to get as much as you can. Obviously, I knew that I'm not, you know, going to have a lot of game time you know with these kind of players because they are one of the best in the world and still I need to, to work hard a lot to, to try to, to get close to them but and still you know I'm trying to learn and take the best from them. Still a teenager, the young Ukrainian had suddenly arrived on one of the biggest stages in Europe and was playing alongside an array of superstar names like Vincent Company, Fernandinho and Kevin De Bruyne. But despite entering a changing room full of global stars, Alexander says he was so impressed by the welcome he received at the Etihad. To be honest, I suppose to see that this kind of superstars a bit different but they are they were so simple you know and I call it class because when you go high as a, f a sportsman and you do like massive step forward uh, you need to be you need to be uh, still humble you know still be like you are and that's what they did you know I was so surprised from the behavior from the attitude from them because all of them they are unbelievable professionals. After a loan spell with PSV Eindhoven ended, Zinchenko returned to Manchester City for the 2017-18 season and made his debut for the club on the 24th of October 2017 in a 0-0 draw against Wolves in the League Cup. Yeah, great feelings, full stadium, you know, first game for Manchester City uh, and straight away 120 minutes, you know. I guess I did 15 kilometers over there, so which is which is unforgettable night for me. Um, fortunately, we won that game by penalties, um, but that was rememberable, rememberable night. The Premier League trophy is raised. Manchester City are champions for 2017. And at the end of that season, he got to lift his first piece of silverware with Manchester City as they won their third Premier League title. And it didn't stop there. He would go on to add another two Premier League titles, two Carabao Cups, an FA Cup and the Community Shield to his medal hall. It's always, you know, special feeling to, to achieve these kind of things, uh, especially Premier League when you won it for the first time. I didn't play much that Premier League. Uh, but still, I felt that I'm a, a small piece of this team, you know, like small part, I would say. It's always nice to be here. It's a dream for everyone, you know, to be, to be part of this amazing family. And you nearly took a big piece out of the trophy when you knocked it off the, uh, the podium. Oh, after that, I said, I said to myself, oh my God, I'm not going to play for City ever again. <laughs> As a, is that something that you still talk about sometimes with the players, anyone that was there uh, at the time? No, it was already a long time ago, you know, but straight, uh, straight away after when it's happened, yeah, a lot of people were joking.
Having originally filled in in the left-back position, Zinchenko went on to make that role his own in the 2018-19 season. A left-sided attacking midfielder by trade, the young Ukrainian worked with his manager and adapted his game to suit his new position, always willing to do what was needed for his team. Oh, fortunately, I, I had a, a little experience you know, in the past. I played a couple of games in the previous club on that position, um, but the manager just he, he was trying to explain me, you know, the role on the pitch, what I have to do with the ball, without the ball, and if I'm gonna hard work, I will get my chance, you know. I think Alex showed me again what I thought before, the importance or the value to to be good guy, good lad. In the beginning of the season, it was the fifth, six, seven or eight fixtures. He didn't play once one minute. And I never saw him in the period we were together, one bad face. And that's why I'm more than delighted. He deserves all my respect. Only I can say thank you. More than the, the fact he's playing so good, is the, the way he approached him that everybody has to learn on Alex. Everybody. I can say about everyone, you know, here that everyone have unbelievable attitude on the training sessions, on the games, you know, they, they, they just trying to to do their best, to give everything on the pitch, because our fans deserve that, you know, and this amazing club can achieve everything. A big factor in Alexander's decision to move to Manchester was his manager, Pep Guardiola, who he seeks to learn from on a daily basis. You're always trying to learn from him and um, one of the best things for me, what he has, he, he knows what he has to say in the right time, you know. Obviously about tactics and stuff, everyone knows that he is the best. But the, the so important thing, uh, you need to know what to have to, you have to say to the team, to the, to, the, to the guys, you know, in the right time. Still just 24 years of age, Zinchenko has already enjoyed incredible success with Manchester City three Premier League titles, two Carabao Cups, an FA Cup and a Community Shield. So what does he put the success down to? Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, to, to live this, the titles. Um, that's why we are here, that's why we have unbelievable team, that's why we have unbelievable squad, unbelievable training staff. It's a special feeling when you lift in the title, especially Premier League. Um, I couldn't even dream that I can lift it three times in my life, so I hope I can do it more in the future, but still we need to hard work on that. Have a looped it, oh it's wonderful! A fantastic fourth goal from Alexander Zinchenko. Magnificent from Zinchenko. Yeah. For you personally, got your first goal for the club against Burton Albion. Um, did you mean it? It was a, it was looked like a cross. You want to know the truth? <laughs> I already said many times, <laughs> guys, show me some respect. But yeah, I didn't I didn't mean it. I didn't. <laughs> now I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. A bit <laughs> further past.